And joining us here on Newsmax now is Michael Warren, staff writer for the Weekly Standard. Thanks so much for joining us here. Yeah, thanks for having me. So let's talk about your new column, uh, Bernie's Moment Now, a Movement. All right, the Bernie Sanders moment does not appear to be passing, at least not yet. Is Sanders really exciting the Democratic base in a way Hillary Clinton just can't? Yeah, well, let's look at what the news was last week. Bernie Sanders holds in the middle of a, of a work week, uh, I guess right before the 4th of July, uh, a, a huge rally in Madison, Wisconsin. And, and, and he's uh, filling almost a 10,000 person arena with, uh, with people who are excited to see him. I mean, Hillary Clinton couldn't get that many people for the, for the big trumpeted, you know, relaunch of her campaign in Brooklyn. It was a really impressive sight. Uh, then you add to that this $15 million his campaign uh, says that they raised, mostly from small donors. Uh, and and you're, you're seeing, I think, what I argue is a, is a movement afoot. The, the, the question really is, can Bernie Sanders really sustain that? Could somebody else come in and sort of be uh, the Bernie Sanders stand-in against Hillary Clinton? I think you're seeing something here in the Democratic Party that nobody expected. So let me ask you that very question. Can he sustain this? I, I think it's difficult. You know, I've seen him on the trail. Uh, he's not a dynamic speaker, uh, but he is somebody that gets uh, people excited about the issues. You know, he's, he goes uh, very much uh, on offensive against money in politics, against the, the sort of uh, negative influence of capitalism, uh, the strong uh, uh, role that government can play. I think this is something that Democrats really truly believe. Uh, in a lot of ways, they feel like the Obama years have, have not been the, uh, the full fulfillment of that uh, vision, and Hillary Clinton isn't necessarily the, the champion for them. If they see somebody like Bernie Sanders or somebody step in later like Elizabeth Warren uh, to champion those ideas, I think their hearts will take them that, in that direction. I'm not so convinced Bernie Sanders is the one to do it, but, I mean, he's surprising us already. Why, why won't he surprise us some more? What impact does this have on Clinton, or does it? Well, I think you're seeing uh, a big change right now. Hillary Clinton's doing a bunch of TV interviews, uh, uh, her campaign announced. I believe she's doing her first one with CNN. I think that's an admission that what they were doing here uh, up to this point, which was essentially doing nothing and, and maybe doing a couple of these uh, uh, events here and there, but not talking to the press, not really being that forthcoming, not really running a campaign, that that's not really working anymore. She's got to get people excited. I think Sanders is certainly scaring her. You're hearing this from Clinton uh, advocates and, and Clinton allies in the media. They're now sort of lowering uh, the bar. They're moving the goalposts and saying, well, of course, Bernie could win Iowa, could win New Hampshire. All things are possible, but uh, the Democrats will be on, on Hillary's side. I think that, that shows they're a little spooked by all this. What other names should Hillary be wor worried about? <laughs> Well, I can tell you which names she shouldn't be worried about, at okay. least not yet. Uh, Jim Webb, uh, the former Virginia senator who just jumped in uh, late uh, last week, uh, he's really speaking for a Democratic Party that doesn't exist anymore. Uh, he, he was, uh, of course, somebody who came out in defense of the Confederate flag. Uh, he sort of speaks to a Jacksonian wing that, again, isn't there for the Democratic Party anymore. Uh, Martin O'Malley, the former uh, Maryland governor, is also in, and, and he's really just, I think, struggling to... Uh, to to, to really do anything. He's at 2% in a lot of these national polls. I think if Martin O'Malley looked at what Bernie Sanders was doing and tried to uh, you know, latch on to that and, and ride that wave, he might have uh, some, some distance here to go if Bernie Sanders does flame out. All right, Michael Warren, staff writer for The Weekly Standard, thanks so much for joining us here on Newsmax Now, and stay tuned for more with Michael Warren as he joins our roundtable discussion when we come back. Still much more to come. You're watching Newsmax now. We're going to be talking about references to God and whether or not they've been fading over the past few years. It's going to be an interesting roundtable discussion. Hope you'll stay with us.